you know, I remember going to City Hall trying to get my business license for this concept, which everyone kind of laughed at in City Hall. I'm like, what are you doing? Why would bikes and coffee be in the same place? Salvatore and my business is Heritage Bicycles General Store. A lot of it came from an earlier project I worked on in New York, kind of just working on bikes, uh, create a brand out there. A lot of the bike industry at that point was really heavy into performance bikes, where I saw kind of a market for this casual, good looking, everyday commuter enjoying the bike ride as a bike ride and not necessarily as a performance based product. When we first saw the idea, it was started out as the first company I was with in New York and we we're gonna extend it to Chicago. It became apparent to me that I wanted its own identity, more culture based, more customer service based. The first year, it was a lot of people not knowing what this was. There's bikes in the window, but it's a coffee shop. Is it a bike shop? Is it a coffee shop? What is it? They try to create sort of a family feel and bringing those two together. I think you can have a really quality product within both industries, but also have something very approachable. Pairing coffee or food or drinks in general with retail was a really easy way to engage with customers. When I was developing the idea of heritage for Chicago, I definitely want to create that same environment where people were easy to speak to, kind of bring down their guard a little bit. So I thought food was like a good catalyst for that. I'm a fifth generation Chicagoan. You know, my great great grandfather started a maple syrup company in Chicago. My grandfather started his own company. My father started his own company. All three of my brothers started, had their own companies. And here I am with mine as well, all in Chicago. What I've seen my father do and what his father did is an inspiration to me. They're able to come home and be with their family and provide for their family. And at the end of the day, they're answering to themselves. I think coffee shops are people's second homes, especially this day and age where people are working a lot from home on their computers. So being able to come somewhere and feel comfortable and not feel like you have to move on and be able to get a really quality product um, at the same time is, is special. Four years in now, we have the general store here. We just expanded, doubled the footprint on it. We have opened Heritage Littles, which is our little kid shop down the street. We've opened two Heritage Outposts, which are coffee only. We'll continue to open outposts around the general store as support for it. So we've gotten to a point where now we are happy and we're growing and we're, we're not gonna grow too much. We're also developing a new bike concept for downtown in the loop. We're playing around with the idea of roasting our own beans. There's a lot of opportunities out there for us to take advantage of. It's a matter of making the right decisions. I think it's more important to grow the right way than it is to grow fast. <laughs>